This time we are talking about what do you do when other people don't exactly share your interests. Yeah, maybe you like something that's a little more niche, and other people just don't really find it interesting. It's a really a difficult balance because let's say if you just want to only hang out with people that you like, that means that there might not be anyone else around you immediately that might share your interest. However, if you choose to hang out around people that are just like completely different than you, then you might not actually talk about anything that you like, and you just constantly go along with other people. And yeah, I guess you never share anything about who you are as a person. If you want to see if you can strike a balance between your interests and other people's interests, yeah, you can keep on watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we will just keep on working through social skills together. But one of the questions I have for you is, I'm kind of interested. What kind of hobbies or interests are you interested in? Interest, interested, interest. Yeah, but what kind of hobbies are you interested in? To better connect with more people and more groups, this concept I call branches and leaves. So think of branches and leaves are both topics. Branches are more of the topics that are more common, and leaves are the topics that are more niche. So if you kind of look at the structure of how the branches and leaves are, you have a branch that's like branching out, and then you have leaves that are connected to the ends. So branches are connected to so much more things than leaves. Leaves are only connected to that one single branch. So making it more of a narrow topic. So let's say if I'm interested in something like pop music or basketball, these are more so considered branch topics. Because more people are able to relate with these topics, and more people know about these topics, so these are more generalized. On the other hand, topics like pottery or comic drawing, these are considered more niche topics. Because relatively to the general demographics, population, less people know about these topics than I guess the ones I mentioned before. So these will be so-called the leaves or the more niche topics. So if you want to go about connecting with other people, but other people just aren't sharing the same interests as you are, there is a chance that this reason might be that your interest is way too niche. So some of the things I recommend to do is having a few general topics, general niches, not true, general interests, and then also keeping your personal interests. And having them work together, so you can connect with more people all together. Now, what if you're just not interested in any of the general topics that people are talking about? Like that's just not your thing. I'll talk about that next. But if you have found this video helpful so far, please give it a like to for me to keep on making more stuff like this. So if you really find yourself not being able to connect with other people because you guys don't really share the same amount of interests. Then you're really only left with two choices. The first one is find a new group of people that actually have the same interests as you, so you can bond with them. Or two, you have to find some kind of common ground with the other group, or just go along with what they're doing. The analogy that I like to use is, let's say you're with a group, and this group really likes to eat Italian food. So every time they go out, Italian restaurants everywhere. So. They only like to eat Italian food. If you join that group, you can't suddenly expect that group to go eat, I don't know, Indian food. So that would be a huge shift for them. You have to make the whole group like something else. So that is kind of the dynamics. That's like if you are trying to go into a group with a complete different interest than you. One one of the things that you could do is. Potentially find a group that likes to try all different types of food, like they like to try new things, which will inc include what you what you like, which is Indian food. But the most critical thing to understand here is that the more flexible you are as a person, meaning the more topics you know, the more interests you have, that means you can potentially connect with more and more people, and that really makes you more adaptable. In terms of different environments, 
you can shift from topic to topic, you can join different groups on the fly, and you have more ability to basically create a social web for yourself. And that makes your life that much easier. So that is it. Here we're all about trying to really connect with people and really helping bridging that gap so that if you do want to create relationships or friendships, it's easier to do that. And understand that starting out, this might not be something that's really easy to do because it's really hard to find people that are really on the same page. And if you do choose to, I guess, just stick with people that you know likes what you like, then things might be, it might be a little harder, but you can still find those people. Yeah. So here, a lot of this is about expanding your interests. That's more so... I guess my suggestion if you want to be able to connect with people quicker and have a wider range of things to talk about so i guess next time if you are just around you can go and try a new food or something you haven't tried before and even if you don't like it you can have the experience of you trying that food which becomes something that you could talk about yeah so try something expand your horizon and it'll be fun and I'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, usual, like, share, subscribe, comment, and take care.